And our Vice President, Kashim Shetima, has promised to use his position to continue to ensure unbreakable fraternal bond between the executive and the legislature. Saying President Bala Ahmed Tinubu remains committed to safeguarding Nigeria's democracy. He said the unrivaled democratic credentials of President Tinubu, which include legislative experience, will continue to rub off on the entrenched and valuable governance style of the president, especially as it borders on respect of the rule of law, adherence to separation of powers, as well as deference for constitutional rights. The burden of managing a diverse nation has ensured that we cannot afford to tread the path of divisions. So allow me, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to congratulate you and declare that the 10th National Assembly is unquestionably the lectures we have had so far. We are not in government to go to war with the National Assembly. We are here to collaborate and march towards shared values. Our journey as a democratic nation has been marked by trials and triumphs, setbacks and progress. But through it all, the National Assembly has remained steadfast in its commitment to our collective well-being. It is there, within the chambers, that the voices of our diverse constituencies find expression, while the aspirations of our people are transformed into legislative action, and while the foundations of our democracy are continually fortified. Democracy thrives only while we agree that every voice holds value and each perspective is significant. Governance is a collective responsibility, not a personal endeavor. Our most significant achievements were attained through cooperation and harmony. This is what we seek from you because we are brothers and sisters in pursuit of a country. We must come together to correct the errors of the past. We face a collective action there was almost erosion of hope in the governors. But today, we are faced with the reality that, yes, indeed, if we do not do something, then Nigerians will never have hope. And Africans will be affected. We listen to all of you. We will take notes. We will do our best to be good students. And on the end of this retreat, we will definitely go back to guide our colleagues so I can contribute to our quota towards nation building. We are very poised to undertake our oversight functions. We are poised to check the actions of the executive. We are poised to check the legislations that were made in the past. So that when the judiciary makes pronouncements, Nigerians will not ask, where is the Piccolo? Where is the National Assembly that ought to make amendment to these acts? Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.